Hi, I'm Katie. I've been surrounded with vintage goodies most of my life. But just in the last 10 years, I've figured out just how much delight I get from having it in my home and looking at it for other people. Come along as I share my shopping adventures at thrift stores, estate sales, and sometimes even along the curb. I will also be showing some of my decorating projects that I've completed and how I have chosen to add vintage to my home for a modern granny chic look. I hope you will find joy along the way as we reawaken vintage. Well, hello everyone. Today's video is going to be about Pyrex and I will let you know right away, I am by far not an expert. There are a million people out there, um, well, maybe that's an exaggeration, that know more about it than I do. But I wanted to share the little bit of knowledge I have come up with, share with you some of the pieces that really just um, make me happy and bring me joy. But I did really want to, real quick, just talk about this meaning what I have all my Pyrex in. Some people were asking me what it was or saying, oh, I love your china cabinet. So um, I picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace, gosh, mm, quite a while, five plus years ago. Um, it was all just brown at the time, and I will be truthful, I thought it was a china cabinet until we got to the lady's house that was selling it, and I realized, oh, no, 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 this was a desk. So the top portion where the doors are open would have been like the library, right, where you would have put your books. You could have obviously put books on the end here or knickknacks. What gave it away that it was a desk was, well, frankly, the desk. This part I did not paint. I left brown. It is missing. You know, this part um, was here. Um, it's gone. I just peeled it off and left it as is. But yes, it is a little functioning desk. Yes, I still have the keys, the original piece of paper, the certificate of inspection with it. Um, so yes, this was actually a desk, if you can believe it. And then this folds up and it looks like a drawer, but it's not really. So we'll answer the questions about that that has nothing to do with Pyrex. So I have been collecting Pyrex for, gosh, probably about 15 years. And if I'm honest, I can't quite remember what got me started. Uh, teal is my favorite color. So I'm assuming if I take myself back, I probably had come across um, one of the butter print, which is this particular design and this particular color and thought, oh my goodness, I love this and I want it. So back 15 years ago, Pyrex was expensive. It was collectible, but now it's gotten pretty wacky out there. So obviously if you're going to estate sales or thrift stores, you can oftentimes find them at a pretty good price if they uh, aren't really paying much attention. I've, I've seen a lot on the internet where people go to thrift stores and they've got them just priced crazy and they're damaged. So it all depends on who's pricing that Pyrex and where you're going. So anyway, we will talk about what, uh, like I said, I like the most, and this is called the Butter Print pattern that Pyrex had put out. Um, it's a really fun design. It's got roosters. It's got hot air balloons. It's got farmers. And they made it in teal with white. And they made it in a lot of different designs. Um, this particular design um, is in orange with right writing as well. The orange was not popular. Uh, not a lot of it was made and it is super pricey and hard to find. I would love to have one just because it would be fun to say you have one, right? Can you imagine the fall and decorating with these orange? So um, they come in a variety of different types. So you've got just regular Pyrex bowls, and I'll show you one in a second, just a regular like mixing bowl with no handles. And then you've got these that have handles, um, on the side, some people call them handles. Obviously, it's also a way that you can pour, and one side of the handle is bigger than the other. Um, these were called Cinderella bowls, and they came in, if I'm saying it correctly, three or four, I think a sets of four, okay? Um, the mixing bowls, if I'm correct, were a set of 
five. Um, I have all the mixing bowls except for the largest one, which again, pretty pricey. Then you have what they would call the refrigerator set. Uh, again, way before Tupperware. So this is what you would probably use for your leftovers. I know a lot of people call this the brownie pan because you could make a small pan of brownies in them. They all came with covered lids, again, for storage in the refrigerator. And a set would come with one of these. And then if you can kind of tell what I've got here on the side is you've got um, a big, bigger container and then it would come with two of the smaller ones with the lids, okay? So Butterprint Pyrex pattern in blue and in orange. They also made a line I would assume it was geared mainly towards Christmas time with snowflakes on them. I don't have them all, but I have a few of them. And truthfully, my favorite are the black. They're so much fun um, and just so different, right? So you can see, for instance, this is a larger one. I have it in the blue with white, but I don't have it in the white with blue. Same thing with the black. Um, so it's just fun. Like I said, I have purchased a few on eBay in the past for, you know, a little bit more money, but it's super fun to be able to find them as people call in the wild, you know, where you're just finding them for an amazing steal and you get all giddy. Um, these also were made with the snowflake design. This one, you might be like, oh my gosh, they even made it, you know, Easter. No, no, no. There are a few amazing ladies out there now that make decals. And so what I did is I purchased just a regular, this is a divider dish. I purchased it at the thrift store. You can imagine for next to nothing. There's no lid on it and there's no pattern. And then ordered from one of these amazing ladies these stickers. I told her what it was that I had and what I was looking for. Um, they had them in different colors. So, yes, so no Easter. These are all legitimate and real. Again, you can see that these divided dishes, and they also made them where they weren't divided, um, were very popular at the time. So I've got a few of them there. Um, and then I collected because I thought orange and teal went really well together. So I started collecting orange um, butterfly. And then I realized as I was collecting them and grabbing them that there's two different designs. If you can see this one, it's really just all flowers, kind of all on the same stem. And then if you look at this design, oh, sorry, you can see, let me just pull one out here, guys, sorry, that I got my finger in front of it. You can see that it's different. So they made two very similar designs, but they are different. Um, all I'm just telling you, Pyrex made some absolutely amazing things back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Obviously, today they're getting popular again. Now it is more uh, clear containers with plastic lids, so they've evolutionized themselves. Um, if you're curious and checking out different designs and what Pyrex has made throughout the year, my favorite website to do that is called PyrexLove.com. They have a, just a plethora of information on Pyrex, what years they were put out, all the different designs, lots and lots of fun. So um, I know some people that will collect anything that's Pyrex. That could go crazy. And there are some beautiful accounts on Instagram where people have just a whole wall with shelving units full of Pyrex. That's not me. Uh, first of all, it would be really expensive. I can imagine trying to have to dust all that. Um, so I just really pick up what I like and I do use them. I will show you in a second some of my everyday Pyrex that I use. Um, and then some of them really are more for special occasions. So obviously the snowflakes I will pull out at Christmas time and use them. The orange ones I sh showed you a second ago, I'll pull those out for Thanksgiving time. I do have different ones shoved in drawers. <laughs> um, yeah. And then also, just to keep in mind, there were other companies out there making stuff similar. And so sometimes you really have to pay attention. So here is, if I can pull the drawer out, a perfect example. You see this and it's like, oh, it's a divided dish and it's got a pretty design. This is not Pyrex. I bought it because I still thought it was really pretty. But this is if I can see at the bottom here, I'm assuming that this is a glass bake. It's another company out there that made them. But again, if you like the design, that's all that matters. Look at this beauty. It's 
green with gold. I mean, there's just some absolutely stunning designs. So if you can find them at the thrift store, that's amazing. If you're not somebody that wants to collect them, but you are interested in maybe getting a little bit of money out of some Pyrex, if you can find some that aren't uh, really scratched, and you'll see a lot of people will mention dishwasher damage. So Pyrex was made at the time that there was no dishwashers. Um, so once dishwashers came along, people were putting their Pyrex in the dishwasher. That's a big no-no because it um, does start slowly but surely to take the finish off of this. So if you're ever looking around and someone has a piece but it says usually DWD, dishwasher damage, you know you're getting a pretty faded piece in a lot of cases. Um, some of the other terminology, if you're out there looking, people will say something like flea bites. That is just little, maybe chips, really, really tiny little chips or tiny little pieces of the paint that are missing on some of them. So just some knowledge for you as you might be out there looking around. Um, so I will show you, this is as simple as it is, this is my favorite. This was strictly just a teal set. And this is why I'm talking about just mixing bowls, right? No handles like the Cinderella bowls, just um, mixing bowls. And again, I am missing the largest one. They also made refrigerator ones. This is in my intro video that I found this at Salvation Army for $2.99. Um, this is a really popular set. They didn't, oh, there's Mr. Trippy. They didn't make as many of these as they did, for instance, the uh, butter print pattern. So if you can find this, grab it because they're pricey. And if you're not wanting to keep it, but you want to resell it, you could get some good bucks. Okay. I never clean my kitchen or any place when I'm doing these videos. So you're seeing, you're seeing the real honest house right now. This is um, a stack of my everyday Pyrex. And you can't tell so much but here I'm going to try to give you an example so if you look at these bowls you can see and they oftentimes will call this the light test if you put this up in the light and I don't know if it's going to show up very well on video there are a lot of scratches in this bowl okay so that's one again this is an everyday bowl that I got at the thrift store for just about nothing this one is what you would consider dishwasher damage and the reason is because it really has no shine left on it you can see the orange but the shine is gone so this would be considered something that would be dishwasher damage but again for everyday wear that's okay so this is my area. Um, and then my everyday dishes. You might be wondering, what do I do for everyday dishes? I use Pyrex. Um, I grew up a lot with my grandma, and she actually had this set, but she had it in what Pyrex called Flamingo Pink. I remember it very well. Um, but I, of course, being the teal lover, have it in teal. Um, I don't have everything. They made these with coffee cups and saucers, cream and sugar bowls. So I have a few of um, the bowls. Then the bowls came in different sizes as well. I mean, this was a big old set. They had some of these that came with gold trim. The ones I prefer are the ones with no gold. Um, but yeah, I have lots of pieces that I don't really need, so I didn't purchase them. And then these are my everyday cereal bowls. As we talked about, these are Cinderella bowls, and here's a really good look. If you can see, the left side spout slash handle is bigger than the right side. These are perfect for cereal in the morning. Um, you can usually get them pretty cheap, and here's some examples I'll show you. This one I see a lot at the thrift store. They made, again, all the casserole, all the mixing bowls with it. This one is not very popular. So a lot of people will send me pictures and I'm at the thrift store. I found this. This is good buy. It's not going to have a big resale value. If you just like it, then obviously pick it up. Not a big resale value because it's really more of a, a little bit more of a, maybe a manly feel with it being brown and bald eagles on it and stuff like that. Um, most of mine of these right now are in the dishwasher that is running. I should not have done that, but you can see some of the different patterns. Here's another good example. You can barely see it. This was a butter print bowl. 
you can see what the dishwasher has done. It is pretty much taken this down to almost a completely white bowl. So another example of why it should not go in the dishwasher. Okay, I could go on and on with this video, but I will end for now. Um, so again, pyrexlove.com is a great place for you to get more information on the designs and do I have a complete set? What else might I be missing? But feel free in the comments, whether you're watching this on YouTube, which I hope you are because um, the more people that subscribe, the better. Um, but if you are watching this on YouTube or Facebook and you have any questions, um, let me know. I might not know the answer to it, but um, I maybe can find it out for you. Okay, so thanks for much watching today. And uh, what do you collect when it comes to Pyrex? I would love to hear what patterns, what colors, and when and how you got started. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.